think what people don't really understand, um, normal people who don't, you know, have experiences with these type of things is um, that me personally, I had no idea what was going on. It's not like I became angry at something or that something that something had really happened to me um, happened to me that was emotionally um, devastating. It was just like I lost lost touch with reality. I had been a normal kid, uh, happy-go-lucky. You know, my friends would poke fun at me because I was always smiling and I was making jokes and I was the most upbeat. And then in a matter of days, like my mom said, everything became sort of. It felt like reality that I the reality that I had known was was distant, um, and. Uh, I, I couldn't communicate. I was at that point hearing voices. Um, you were. Yes. Uh, mainly in music. I don't know how to explain it, but um, the, song, the song lyrics would change um, and they would say hateful things, racist things, homophobic things. They would tell me to harm people, they would talk about harming people. Um, and I really didn't know how to vocalize it because I think any rational person would be like, you're making this up. This isn't, this isn't true, Andrew. You know, it's sort of like the boy who cried wolf. Um, so I figured I wouldn't cry because no one was going to come for me. So did anybody ever come up with a diagnosis here? At that point, um, it was determined that Andrew had... Um, Psychosis, otherwise unspecified, and that was in, in June of 2008. And he was in the hospital for about five days. Then he came home and he was um, better after receiving some medication. And he was seen by a psychiatrist for several months. And then um, he... Um, he went off his medication after about six months, and about three months later, without any other form of treatment, no more visits to the psychiatrist, n no more talk therapy, he had his um, a second psychotic break. So uh, eventually, Andrew, did they tell you what, what you had, what, what you were suffering from? Yeah. I. Um... My family and I met with um, a psychiatrist um, at UCSF, and after one meeting, probably 30-minute meeting, um, he uh, decided that I had schizophrenia. Um, and I was, um, I didn't feel very good about this diagnosis because I, undisclosed psychosis was, it, it sounded 10 times better than schizophrenia. When I thought of schizophrenia, I thought of um, teenagers, you know, beating up people and, you know, breaking laws and acting like hooligans in, in a way, um, you know, out of control. Um, and that certainly wasn't me. Um, I was never physically aggressive, um, sometimes frustrated, um, but I never hurt anyone um, in my uh, in my experiences with psychosis um, or otherwise <laughs> yeah but you said that when you were hearing voices especially in this song they yeah. were kind of urging you on to some sort of physical yeah something. Um, but I my, my parents brought me up well and I knew that this is something that's totally unacceptable in society in society to hurt anyone um, and so I resisted uh, these messages that uh, I thought were being sent to me. Um, and uh, I'm glad that I was able to persist and um, to avoid any physical altercation.